Cinnamon. Awesome. He's a good bear. He's a good bear? Mm-hmm. Yes! That's a good little buck, huh? That is an excellent little buck. Yeah. That is awesome. That's the most fun awesome. thing I've ever done. That's where to go, man. Gorgeous bear. <laughs> yeah. It is a beautiful bear. Good job, buddy. Got your first bear. Yeah, you buddy. did it, Cody. Yes. You did it. A 10-year-old kid does it. What a stud. What a stud. Hi, I'm Wayne Indicott. I grew up hunting in the 70s, and some of my most passionate memories was hunting elk with my father in the Winnaha River wilderness. I was 12 years old. We wound up, you know, packing in with horses. Uh, I encountered an animal on that trip that left my young soul twisted. It was a black bear. And from that time on, I knew some things without a doubt. I knew I wanted to hunt elk and deer, and I wanted to hunt black bear. Pretty simple list of ambitions, but I'm a pretty simple guy. Nothing like seeing, you know, a big black bear on a hillside when you're 12 years old, sitting on a ridge by yourself on a cold morning, opening day elk season, and having that black bear pick its head up, look around, and come right directly towards you. That'll, that'll leave a knot in your soul, you know, especially a young soul, or you don't have any soul. My passions for hunting grew with me. And my role model, one of my biggest role models was Larry Jones. Larry's an icon in the industry and, you know, I watched his videos growing up and everything and it was just amazing. We learned from Larry and the other day Larry was in the shop and these days Larry's sporting some serious New Year's under his belt. And a customer in the store looked up Larry and he's like, Larry Jones, you know, and walked over and wanted to shake his hand and said, said, Larry, how's hunting been this season? And Larry goes, without a doubt, not enough. And it came quick, and with, with that I thought, you know, Larry and I just, you know, we share the same spirit, we share the same passion. And two generations apart, but we have the same heartbeat. When my son turned 12, I thought, what better way to, you know, share my infected passion of hunting than to take him on a North Eastern Oregon spring bear hunt. You know, it, uh, it was an incredible hunt, you know, we had a great time up there, and not only that, he had turned into taking his friends the next year, and years after that, taking other people's kids, and it's rolled into like, I think this is going to make 16 years of hosting a kid's spring bear camp in northeastern Oregon. It's been an awesome time and a, and a huge reward. For me, it's the look of amazement in those kids' eyes when they see for the first time a black bear on a hillside. Oh my gosh, buddy. Good job. Yes. You are the man. Brings back memories of my childhood and my early, you know, passionate times with my father and hunting. And uh, it's, it's, it's a huge reward. That reward, you know, seeing the look in those kids' eyes is priceless. Oregon Fish and Wildlife has a wonderful program with mentored youth tags. It allows you to donate your tag once you draw it to a youth. You know, kids that, you know, are between the ages of 9 and 13, a lot of them just don't have the physical strength to be able to pull archery equipment and harvest an animal. It allows you to take a firearm and that child can still be successful. It's an awesome program and the main thing is we get them out there and get them an experience in the outdoors and, and more than that, they can be successful with that weapon. This is a quick look into three youth spring bear hunts in Northeastern Oregon. Hopefully my content and these kids' hunts will overweigh you know, my lousy camera operation. My son Nathan was 13 years old. It was a gorgeous morning, April morning, sun was out. You know, we were pursuing you know, black bear on a, on a classic area in a, in a really good hillside. 
I saw five bear here yesterday. We were side hilling and you know there was plenty of bear sign on the side hill. It's good habitat, it's a good habitat area for them. Lots of wild cucumbers and wild potatoes and onions in this particular area and so the sign was good and sure enough you know the bear were out feeding. As we came out on the open hillside, we spotted a good bear down below us and trying to put a stalk on him, we wound up spooking the bear. Bear went into the brush and what's there left to do but try to predator call. You know, predator call is always the last resort, see how the bear reacts, but we've actually had really good luck calling these bear. I get on the predator call and the bear actually walks across the hillside. Nathan draws back, takes a shot, misses the bear, get on the predator call, really get hard and heavy on the predator call again. And the bear comes right towards us, steps out in front of us, Nathan gets a good shot. After Nathan took a shot, you know, we realized shot placement wasn't tremendous. But, you know, he did get good penetration, picked up the blood trail, we gave the bear some time and we were able to get in another good stalk in a brushy hillside and get right on the bear. Put your 30 and your 20 on her. Shot placement was good, his penetration was good, the bear didn't go far and he was ours. Nathan, you got your first bear buddy. You got your first bear. Nice bear. Gosh darn, that thing's head is about three times the size of yours. Good job. Very nice bear. Very well furred. It's awesome. Sweet. My daughter, Jessie Lynn Endicott, she turned nine years old and it was perfect timing as I drew a spring bear tag that year for Northeastern Oregon and using the mentored youth program, we could utilize that. We did some training, physical training, and uh, when we got over there, it was a great, great day. We rode in nine miles over the snow, and uh, about 1,800 feet we, down, we spotted a really nice bear. A giant, big cinnamon bear, and if we're ready to whack him. And so as we dropped in on the bear, we come across uh, probably last winter's, you know, nice four-point buck, probably a cougar kill. As we made our final approach on the bear, you know, we get the bear in front of us, I get the pack off my back and I get Jesse in position. And we got the got our little rifle across there and I'm 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 telling her, Jesse, aim aim really hard. I turn my camera on and just about the time I was ready to pick the camera up, boom, she takes the shot. Bear ran about 200 yards and wound up in a really brushy draw and took a little bit for it to expire. She hadn't made the greatest of shots, but we're, you know, the rifle was pretty lethal. And uh, you know, as we, as we crept in, you know, it, was, it was a pretty big challenge to get old Jess to walk up on that bear. Go ahead and pull his head around. Go ahead and pull his head around. <laughs> Does he have any teeth? Look of at him. Of course he's got teeth. They live with teeth. Come on, jump in there. You can touch him. <laughs> I will. Jump on the other side of him. Just pull his, lift his head up. It's okay. I, come on. Yes. Come on. His eyes are open. They, they, they die with their eyes open. Uh. Get in there. <laughs> Run! Ah! Dad, stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's okay. Come on, go pick him up. Go pick his head up. Jump in there and pick his head up. Sweet. That's a good looking bear, bug. Clear down the bottom of Everything. Bugs, what he <laughs> what what he do when he died? Well, he um stumbled. He stumbled a couple times. We were um he we saw that he rolled down the hill down here just a little bit. We hiked down here. He went down a rock slide. We didn't see any blood though, and he was dead all right. He was laying right right in some of that brush, and we had to drag him yep. drag him out here. Big old boar, huh? Oh yeah, he's a big boar. Yeah, we got to get to work on him.
Cody Yoff's father passed away when he was an infant, and his mother brought him in the shop. Uh, Cody loved archery. She said he loved watching hunting shows. I quickly adopted him, and he became my hunting buddy. After a nine mile ride over the snow, we made a short hike to the breaks. Cody and I, you know, did some glassing, quickly found nine bear in one small side canyon. We got these bear right below us. We got that one there. He's working his way up this way. He might work his way up the ridge or he might just go on the north slope. There was a good sow and a good boar, and uh, by the time we dropped down in on them and made our stock, the bear had disappeared. Nothing left to do but give the old predator call a try, and we had some success. The bear comes in really good to the predator call, and you can see that the bear is excited about that call. I mean, it, it's standing there, it's drooling. But the bear, the wind isn't great. The wind's shifting and the bear actually catches our scent, but not before it comes into 30 yards. But at 30 yards, that bear witnesses Cody, draws bow and spooks. Put your 40, a foot high, a foot high. Oh, nice shot. Yes. Nice shot, Cody. Drilled him. Oh my God. And out of nowhere, this bear shows up like 50 yards out when I drew, it spooked her. So she went out another five yards, called again, came back, aimed about six inches high and put her down. Yeah, sweet, look at that. And that's her final resting place. It's a great bear, huh? Yeah. He's got a big diamond on his chest. Probably about 200 pounds. Yeah, good bear. What I've learned from taking kids hunting is it's, it teaches them appreciation from the outdoors, you know, the amazement they see in the wildlife, but it's more than that. It's, it's ma understanding game management, understanding that we have an overpopulation of predators in the western half of the United States. And the gift that they learn is more than just hunting. It's, it's, it's the shared time in the outdoors with fathers and sons and, and friends. So pass it on, it's important. If Wayne hadn't taken me out hunting, I couldn't have climbed these canyons and I wouldn't have had a great, awesome time harvesting this really old boar. Yeah, it's a big old boar, isn't it? Yeah. That's awesome, buddy. <laughs>